If you're new around here and you like seeing my American and Germany experiences, consider subscribing. Make it easier by activating the bell notifications for more exciting weekly uploads. What's up everybody, Christopher here back with another video here to talk about the metric system versus imperial system. Now this isn't just going to be a comparison of the two, I just want to talk a little bit about what the metric system is and what the imperial system is and a little bit on how the US still uses it and maybe why. That intro sequence that you just watched was me just saying I'm basically okay with either because although the US is mostly recognized for using the imperial system, both are actually taught and I was just saying that I'm okay with either except for the one thing and you saw what that was. So basically the metric versus the imperial system. As far as I know, there's only three countries that use the imperial system. The US is one of them. I don't remember the other two because I frankly don't really care. The US is primarily known for using the imperial system, a system that used to be known as the British imperial system, which was introduced by the British Weights and Measurements Act of 1924. That would be 1824, mate. Of 1824. It was to be used in the United Kingdom and amongst the United Kingdom's colonies. Now, I'm not going to get into everything. We know what the imperial system is. It's measuring length by inches, feet, yards, miles, nautical miles. It's measuring volume by ounces, pints, quarts, and gallons. And then it's measuring mass by ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, pounds, and tons. Ounces, ounces, pounds, and tons. So sometime early in the 19th century, the metric system somehow spread through European colonialism, which to me means it probably wasn't even supposed to be a thing. But it is. Now, personally, I can say that the metric system is a little bit easier to learn. Maybe not for everybody, but for me. I like how it uses milli, centi, deci, deca, hecto, and kilos. And in a nutshell, it uses meters for measurements, kilograms for weights, liters for volume, and of course, Celsius for temperature. Whereas the US, using the imperial system, uses Fahrenheit for temperature. Now, as I said earlier, the US does actually use the metric system. They just use it also. It's not the primary use. Even in some of the items you saw in the beginning of this video, you can see the imperial measurements first, and in parentheses, you'll see the metric measurements. They use both, and that's like everything. You ever heard of a 5K race in the US? Of course you have. You see how they measure wine in the US? And if you look on the speedometers on vehicles in the US, you can see that they use both systems of measurement to measure your speed. It has the miles per hour on the outside, usually a little larger, and on the inside it has the kilometers per hour. So although it's known for using the imperial system, the metric system is used. And that's one of the few things the US actually caters to when it comes to accommodating people from other parts of the world. And I can remember in school being taught the metric system, but the emphasis being on the imperial system. So as I said earlier, I personally could just like be okay with both. I, I, I know them both. But I think it would be much easier if the US converted to the metric system because basically the rest of the world is already there. And from what I understand, it would make for less complications when it comes to trading and other points of money and business matters that the US has with other countries across the world. Because right now, most people have to cater to two separate systems of measurements. It's just kind of inconvenient for everybody. And as the temperatures inch closer and closer towards 40 degrees Celsius, I feel like this is a very appropriate topic, but that's all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was at least a little informal and you can count on this. I will no doubt talk to you guys in the next video. You guys know the video is over, right? Go catch up on some other videos. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Bye.